So we're back on the road again, and our first stop is Pin Oak Campground in Natchez Trace State Park in Tennessee. And you know what that means? A campground review that you can use. We'll use our 10 category system. That way you can find out if this is the right campground for you. I'm Lynn. And I'm Danny. Welcome to RV America. The original RV America. Let's get at it. Okay, so we are in Pin Oak. Uh, which is a campground in Natchez Trace State Park in the state of Tennessee. There are four separate campgrounds in Natchez Trace Park. We're only doing the review on one, but we thought we'd give you just a little bit of information on the other ones. There is a Wrangler campground if you have horses and want to bring them with you. Um, Pin yep. Oak is the only one that has full hookups. And Pin Oak is uh, big rig friendly. Very and big rig friendly. <laughs> the lady at the office said that Wrangler has a few large sites, just uh, it's more coverage. She likes that area a lot better. Uh, this is more open, but we love mm -hmm. it. There is another campground and it's completely primitive. Both Wrangler and, and the other, one of the other. Campground one at uh, the, I don't remember top the of the lake. Them. Yeah. Remember the lake? I don't remember the lake. We'll have to look it up. But it, those two only have a dump on the way out. Yeah, they have uh, electric and water and then a dump station. And of course the uh, campground two is primitive. Yeah, so there's your little tidbit of information. Yep. For the ease of backing in, I will say, I just turned around down there in the loop and came back up and whooped that thing right in there. <laughs> <laughs> she sure did. He didn't like what I said before, so I had to do it again. <laughs> but I just whooped that thing right in there, just backed it right on up and it was right there. So easy, I give it a 10. So the next category we want to talk about are the roads. These are close to perfect. The campground roads are paved. We haven't seen a single pothole inside the park. Inside the state park, there's a few potholes, but as far as this campground, we give them a 10. So the next category is the bathhouse and the laundry room. And I'm giving them a nine. Uh, the bathrooms, the bathhouse itself has, in the process of redoing, they have almost completed the one that I saw that had the new countertop. It was really pretty. Very natural in the woodsy type thing. The laundry rooms, I think they're still working on. Uh, once they get them done, I think they'll get a 10, but right now we're giving them a nine. Oh, that looks really pretty. The lady at the front desk said they are redoing all of the bathrooms and this is going to be their new countertop once they're done. Looks really pretty. Uh, they've all been painted already, but not all of them have been, uh, have the new countertops in them. Oh, it's a nice big area. Every time you have a bathhouse, in between the men's and the women's, they will have a laundry room. It has one washer, one dryer, and that's it. These here, and the other one, the loads were $2 a piece, but this one, it appears the loads are a dollar and a half a machine, half a piece. Uh, these machines are a little bit newer, but very handy. Okay, the next category we're gonna talk about are the hookups. We got full hookups in a state park. Can you imagine that? Not too many state parks have full hookups. And this is the only campground in this state park that has full hookups. So it's Pin Oak. So if you're looking for full hookups, it's always good to have it once in a while so you can get things done, tanks rinsed and all that. So we're glad to be here and we're giving it a 10. And I did want to point out that every site in Pin Oak has full hookups. So let's talk connectivity. Uh, we have two bars on our T-Mobile. We have two bars on our AT&T. It is extremely, extremely slow. <laughs> that would be an understatement. Um, I could not upload videos to TikTok or anything else. I did get one uploaded to YouTube this morning. The TV has, we did, we were able to make some phone calls, but they were kind of in and out a little bit. TV, we've got six channels over the air, so that gave us plenty of entertainment for what we wanted to watch, and so we're only giving it a five. These are huge drive-through sites. 
We didn't get one of those, but that's okay. So every campsite in Pin Oak comes with a fire pit, a picnic table, a light post to hang your lantern with, a small grill. Also, they have full hookups, sewer, water, electric. I'm gonna give the campsites themselves a 10. Can't beat this. For the most part, they are all very level. So, I mean, they're graveled, they're not paved, but it's okay. And as you can see, you're not on top of each other in this campground. You've got one way down there from this one and you've got one up there. Our site is way over there and we've got all kinds of space. So we're definitely giving these campsites a 10. So if you see all these spots that are right here on the lake, my understanding is from talking to the lady up front that checked us in and everything, is you have to book them at least a year in advance. These people right here, the two that we talked to said that's exactly what they did. They booked these sites over a year ago because they really filled up and there's no wonder. Look at this view. Let's talk about the staff. When it comes to the staff, we're giving them a 10. We went to the visitor center yesterday after we got in and got set up and the lady up there was just marvelous. She answered all our questions. She even turned her computer screen around so we could see the maps on the screen, came out and helped us find the brochures that we needed for all our trails and things today we wanna do. And with that being said, we'll say thank you to Linda and thank you to the state of Tennessee. Now to the category that everybody wants to know cost per value now this park is amazing it's the best state park that we've been in so much room full hookups having your sewer where most state parks you have to go to a dump station it's been fantastic now the cost averaged out we went on a thursday and a friday so that cost averaged out to 44 dollars a night and now if you're 62 and i'm not quite there yet you get 25 percent off in the state of tennessee for camping that's amazing too so thank you tennessee but with $44, that's a great price. So we're gonna give cost per value a nine. And our next category is activities and amenities. Now we're here before uh, the official start of summer. We're here in April. There's not a lot of activities going on. If you come during the summertime, they have activities going on during the weekend as with most state parks. But right now there's boating, there's fishing, uh, there's another campground around here you can actually rent boats at if you don't have your own. Uh, they do have a beach. They have a play area. Uh, and this campground is set inside the state forest. So you can just go on and on and on and expand from there. Now, I'm not going to tell you about the state forest or the entire national park right now. You have to come back next weekend to see that video because we're going to dive into this state park. It's an amazing place and you're going to want to see it. So with that being said, we will give the activities and amenities an eight. We are outdoor people and this park has all the things in it that we absolutely love to do. So let's talk about the final category, things to do in the area. We're in a state park in a, in a large state forest. So there's a lot to do here. There's a lot to do here. There's everything from boating, swimming, fishing. Uh, there are all kinds of Jeep trails in the state park and the national and the state forest, not national forest, but state forest. And also there's, I think over 250 miles of hiking trails. Danny's got a new hip. We can go hiking now. It was 23 miles, but oh, we'll, we'll it call it 250. But. <laughs> okay, so I messed that one up. And, and uh, she mentioned boating. You can rent your boat here so you don't have to bring your own mm -hmm. boat if you want to do that and get it out on one of four lakes. And there's a, several swimming areas that are, are um, roped off, buoyed off uh, for you and your kids to enjoy. There's picnic areas, some great, beautiful uh, pavilions right on the water. So a lot of great things to do in this park. There's also three other Tennessee state parks nearby mm -hmm. within 20 to 35 minutes away so you can get out and sp spend more time exploring those. In fact, 
I would suggest if you had time to stop and spend a week here since there's so much to do in these. Yeah, you this, won't regret it. So much to do in this state park and those other, other three. Yeah, also there are little towns around here. We're fairly close to the little town of Lexington, so that would be worthy to explore as well. So, we give things to do in the area a 10. But before I show you some of the video on the things to do in the area, we want to give you a grand total for Natchez Trace State Park and the campground is called Penn Lake Campground. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Bad drum roll. Anyways. Our grand total is a 91, which is the highest we have ever given any place. Great job to at. Natchez Trace uh, State Park and great job to Tennessee. As Lynn said, this is the highest grade that we've ever given out. Yeah, well worth a visit yes. for sure. It's located in between, directly in between Memphis and Nashville along I-40. So if you're coming through, heading anywhere from east to west on 40, Stop in and spend a night or two, yes. or even longer if you want to, spend, to explore the area. Yep. So, let's show some of the stuff to do in the area. So, this week we shared with you all about the campground, but be sure you come back next week when we take a deep dive into the state park. It is so, so cool. Until next time, God bless and many safe travels. And go RV America!